Good Scott! Say what? That's right, kids. We're only a few days away from Marty McFly Day, the 21st of October 2015. And well, if you've had your head buried in the sand for the last 30 years, then you won't know about the tale of a young lad named Marty McFly who got up to a bit of mischief with his friend Doc Brown and ended up traveling into the future. So I suppose the question is, what did the filmmakers get right and what did the filmmakers get wrong? Well, I suppose there are a few ways to look at this. It's quite simple. This here is the present and somewhere along the way in the past here, something has happened causing it to skew off here and create an alternative 2015. And that's why we don't have any of these things such as Pepsi Perfect. Well, Maybe we do now. Or Nike self lace up shoes. I mean shoes. I got these right here. Does this power lace? Not till 2015. Sir. This is 2015. Or maybe we've got those now as well. Or that movie from Universal Studios, Jaws 19. I don't see that coming out anytime soon. This time, it's really, really personal. Coming soon. Now, if the future is to occur in the next couple of days, then we should be seeing hoverboards and flying cars. And for some reason, Elijah Wood becomes a little kid again. And I'm going out next week to get myself a fax machine because apparently they're all the rage again in case I get fired from work. Now, when you make a movie set 30 years in the future, you really don't think that popular culture is going to catch on to the point that the movie is going to still be relevant to a point. 30 years down the track. It's funny because some things went the other way, like they predicted automated service stations that would fill your car up. Well, I fill my own car up. There's no full service anymore. It's all self-service. And speaking of which, for those damn fuel companies don't stop jacking the price up 30 cents a litre overnight for no damn reason. 1.21 gigawatts! That's for time, pun intended today. I'm Kramer, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe up here somewhere. Of course, there are all the social media links here as well. And thanks for letting me take you on a trip down memory lane with one of my all-time favorite films.